guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reacting to my 2016 agenda i know it's been a really long time since i've done one of these but i kind of didn't want to get like too like close to like the current date or anything so that these would be a little bit less fresh in my mind if that makes sense so i figured i would start doing these like maybe once a year every time i get my new agenda in and on that note here is my new 2022 agenda this is by the same brand that all my other agendas are by it's super cute i really love it and i'm currently filming this at the end of september so i definitely already have lots of notes and stuff in here let's look at my uh 2016 agenda so i remember correctly from things that happened in 2016 i know that i went to disney world in 2016 with my friend tori i also moved out of my sister's house because she moved out to nova scotia for two years and i also met sam in 2016 which is funny because now we're married and stuff let's just dive right in and look at this agenda i like love the pink of these first front pages it's so pretty Oh boy, this one is also boring. <laughs> Look how boring this is. It's so funny how I find this so like boring. Like, let me pull up a page in my current agenda just to give you an example. Like, this is what my current agenda looks like. I think back when I had like these old agendas, I had a separate notebook for like my to-do lists and stuff. And now I just throw literally everything into my agenda. Like all my to-do lists, everything goes in my agenda. It's just like so funny how like boring this looks to me. Like there's nothing in here. And it's funny because every once in a while I'll go through and add like little things like stickers and stuff into my agenda. And there are so many pages where there's literally like no room to add anything because I have just have so much writing in it. And then I look at this and I'm like, I could fill up this page with so many stickers. So I just want to point this out because I think this is super cute. On September 20th of 2015, I uh, Skyped with my friend Leah. And I find that cute because I'm actually Skyping with her tonight. I'm actually trying to get this video filmed before I video chat with her. So I find that really, really cute. Okay, now we're going to skip past the first few. What is this? There's a paper clip in here. What is in here? Oh, yes. I'm going to skip through all of 2015 and get to 2016. The end of 2015, beginning of 2016, I started my very first job at a hospital. So I love that I wrote out hospital and Home Depot because I was working at both places for a while and I like have them color coordinated. Love that. Oh my goodness. Did I only do that for like one? <laughs> this is the date it all truly began for me. On January 19th of 2016 was when I went to see Star Wars The Force Awakens in theaters. To be completely honest, I think I've mentioned this in the past, that is what truly started it all for me. I know I've mentioned this before, but I liked Star Wars as a kid, but I never like ever like really like gravitated towards it and was like, I'm gonna watch Star Wars tonight. And then after I saw The Force Awakens in theaters, it was after that that I was like, I really need to rewatch the rest of them. And I just have absolutely loved them ever since then. I saw The Force Awakens for the first time on the 19th, and then I saw it again on the 26th, and then again on the 31st. I even very clearly remember on the 31st, I was working at Home Depot and I was telling my friend how I really wanted to see Star Wars again and that I just loved it and I wanted to see it again. And he said to me, he's like, well, I haven't seen it yet. Um, Do you wanna go after work? I was like, yeah, sure. Ever since then, I have just absolutely loved Star Wars so much. Oh, this was fun. I remember this. I have some very random things written in here that I just um, have no idea what, like, on this day, January 30th, I wrote, go home. And then also the next page, I wrote on the first, home. On the second, mama's house. Third, mama's house. Fourth, home. The fifth, mom and dad's house. And the sixth, home. And that that's it. There, it, it, That doesn't continue on anywhere else. So I have zero idea what that is. February 5th says, Edmonton with Karen. Karen was a friend from school and <laughs> 
she messaged me probably at like five o'clock in the evening and was like what are you doing tonight and tomorrow and I was like nothing and she's like do you want to go to Edmonton I was like right now and she's like yeah me and my friend are just booking a hotel and then we're gonna go do you want to come and I was like sure so they picked me up and we went to Edmonton and then we spent the Saturday at the mall and that's actually when I got my uh, shark fin tattoo funny enough Ah, yes, and then the next weekend I went to Edmonton again with my aunt and my brother. That was fun. We went to the water park that time. <laughs> Pack for trip. Where was I going? Oh, a cruise. I have written out pack for trip, and I'm like, where was I going? But then on the 27th, on March 27th, leave for cruise. So on this day, April 19th of 2016, I saw The Jungle Book in theaters. That was the first movie of my very first Disney movie marathon. And at that time, I only had 129 movies that I was watching, which is hilarious because I had 400 movies at my last marathon. I feel like this was super ambitious of me. The end of April, so May, June, July, August, so just over four months I had to watch 129 movies like like I have I, I'm impressed that I even attempted it I also have written out like on this day I watched one this day four out of 129 this day six out of 129 so that's funny that I wrote that all out I have my ticket here from when I saw Headley in concert here we're at 34 out of 143 movies so now we've gone up from 129 to 143 and here on July 1st of 2016 I wrote date that was my very first date with Sam I love that I just wrote date and like that's it July 5th movie date with Sam that was our second date and then we hung out again on um, July 9th and now we're married <laughs> one month to Disney World and I'm at 88 out of 154 movies. At this point I'm surprised I didn't just give up. I had a month to watch like over 50 movies like that's ridiculous like I'm I'm not shocked I didn't finish it. This is also where I started officially moving all my stuff to my aunt's house because I moved, lived with her for like two years. I think I lived with her for three years total so I started moving all my stuff over there and now I am officially in Disney World. I left on the 22nd and we were there for 10 days. That was such a fun trip, like one of the best Disney trips I've ever had and then we left on September 1st. That was such a fun trip, so much fun. We're almost done. This isn't nearly as exciting as other ones. Wolf Dog Sanctuary, that was a lot of fun. Sam took me to that for my birthday. So I wrote here on a cute little band-aid sticky got job offer because that day I got an offer for a second unit at the hospital. So then at that point I gave my notice to Home Depot and then I worked on two units and I worked on those not actually very long. I worked on the first unit I worked on for just about a year and a half. And then the second unit I worked on, I only worked on for like maybe six months, if that. Um, just because while I was working on both of them, I got the I got an offer for the job I currently have, which these ones weren't full time or anything or even part time. So I didn't have set hours where now my current job, I do have set hours. I also booked a cruise with Sam. That was the very first trip we took together was that we went on a cruise. November 10th was my last day working at Home Depot. We don't talk about that day. It was not a good day. Bought Star Wars tickets in November. That must have been for Rogue One. Uh, yes, it was Rogue One. December 16th, 2016, Rogue One. I was so confused. I was like, wait, but Last Jedi didn't come out until the next year. Why was I already getting tickets for Last Jedi? I forgot about Rogue One, which is a fantastic movie. And that's it. No fun drawings, not really much in that agenda. Lots of fun memories though. 2016 was actually a really good year in comparison to some of the last years. Like I remember my last agenda video was not as fun. I definitely enjoyed reliving this year more than the years previous. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for next year when I go through 2017. Not going to be for a little while, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, I would love if you would like and subscribe. I post new videos every single Friday plus bonus videos every once in a while and I would love to have you here. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye everybody!